Ah, g'day, welcome to Farming Live Australia. Today we're going to do something that we do on a regular basis and that is we're going to check the property over, have a look at the fences and make sure that none need mending and have a general look around and make sure that anything that needs fixing is. The first thing to do is get some gear together and I'm going to oil up all the tools that have moving parts. Part of looking around of course is to check that the cattle are okay. Fellas are friendly. They're all coming to talk to us. Come on fellas, get out of the road. Crikey. So you can see here the fence is really overgrown from next door and the neighbours promised me he'll clean it up but I'm not holding my breath. The last neighbour said that for about 20 years and never did anything. So we'll go along the fence and have a good look and see if anything's damaged. You can see here we've got shitloads of lantana on the fence. <clears throat> we used to poison it off the fence, but the last neighbour got really upset about it, so we stopped doing that. But irrespective of how it goes, something's going to have to happen very shortly. But the fence itself's in alright condition. One of the things we're checking for is to make sure the cattle have got plenty of feed and I have to assess the situation and make plans for what I'm going to do depending on how the condition of the feed is. At the moment there's plenty of feed and probably what I'll do is get rid of a lot of the cattle, sell them off before the end of the year and it gets dry that way I won't need as much feed. So we continue to drive along the fence and just check that there's nothing really wrong but as you can see there's a lot of trees starting to grow over the top of the fence and they're leaning that way. The wind comes from that direction so it slowly pushes all the trees over towards us and before we get a big wind like next cyclone season we're going to have to take some pretty drastic steps. And you can see here a lot of these trees are dead. They're a type of scrub tree, most of them, that aren't long lived. You know, things like she oaks and wattles, etc., that grow up for a few years and then they get to a certain age and then they die. Unfortunately, they fall over the fence. And you can see here's a good example of heaps of stuff all over the top of the fence. Now, that's going to die and drop onto the fence, push the fence down onto the ground, and the cattle will walk out which is exactly what we don't want. Here we've got a massive big tree right beside the fence that's died and I'm going to have to cut it out and it's got a huge orchid in it. So I guess Pat will claim that orchid. Here I've got a situation where there's a cocky's gate or a wire gate, whatever you want to call it, and the droppers have rotted off because they were just wood and I need to replace them and I'm going to replace them with bits of plastic. That's the first major thing we've found wrong. So 
one of the wires had been pushed down the steel picket that I'm using on the end so I had to release the pressure off it so that it, I could move the wire. Here we've got a few little suckers right beside the fence and Pat's just cutting them off with the electric chainsaw. This tree with the strainer post and it got blown over in the yards and we sort of tied the fence up and it looks to me like it really needs a bit of attention so I'm going to put a couple of steel pickets in and just make sure that they don't get out there. An old fence post that was laying in the paddock, we'll pick it up and take it home for firewood, get rid of it out of the paddock. Ground soft. Here we've got a tree that's growing up right on the fence line on our side, so we'll get rid of that. Look. We just keep working our way around the fences, driving along and checking and correcting anything that we see is wrong. Here beside the fence, 
we found a little branch falling off that tree that's there and we really try to keep around the fences completely clear so you can drive around them at all times in the case of a bushfire it's necessary to be able to drive right around the fence line so we always do our utmost to keep it clear in particular along the fence lines we do pick up the wood in the rest of the paddock as well but we're just not so diligent about it This tree's grown in and out the fence and obviously that hadn't happened in the last few months. It's taken a fair while but I've just been trying to ignore it for a while but it won't go away so I've had to cut it off. And I'm having real trouble getting it untangled. Another thing we keep an eye on all the time is the cattle's water supply. And this is a small spring fed dam. It's obviously quite full so it's good. We've been right around the boundary at home. It's time now to go and have some lunch. We didn't really find anything too much wrong. Just a little bit of maintenance here and there all the time stops things getting out of control. An observation of the place helps me to make future plans for what we need to do with the management of the feed and water, etc. And one thing that's become obvious both here and over at the other place is that I'm going to need to concentrate on some of the regrowth that's coming back. I'm going to have to address that. Thanks a lot for watching this edition of Farming Life Australia. We'll see you next time. Bye.